This is a book review of The Golden Age Superman, Volume 1. Now, it's a trade paperback, of course it's not the omnibus edition, so in that way it's a lot lighter, a lot easier to read, and it's only got 390 odd pages. This book came out in 2016, I'm just going to quickly run through it. That's obviously from DC Comics, it's got Action Comics 1 to 19, Superman 1 to 3, and New York World Fairs Comic 1, most unusual title. However, this of course was the origin stories of Superman, the early stories by Siegel and Schuster, and this came out in 1938. And it's pretty good. They're, the stories are of their time. They are not like the modern Superman in any shape or form. I mean, even to the point where you've got like action comics, something didn't even feature particularly Superman on the front cover. Obviously, clearly Superman's not, unless that's kryptonite, which I don't think was around by this point. However, still, Superman stories are pretty good. It's all obviously in colour all the way through. The drawing is fine. It's obviously not as slick as now. And also you've got in here, you've got a very standard sort of like eight panels per page. Eight panel, eight panel. There was not much variety. There was no massive full page spread or double page spreads or anything like that. They went for eight. Occasionally, whew, seven. So you've just got one right across there, obviously, because you've got a car and you've got Superman. So obviously they decided to, to but most are eight pages. And you've got, of course, you haven't even got a full page. You've just got a just a single, just up there, half, half a page for the title, World's Fair. So this is a lovely one. New York's World Fair Comics. This, of course, included Superman. Superman looking slightly odd as well. Blonde hair, most odd. The cover, Satara, Butch the Pup. So, whatever happened to him, I wonder. The Sandman and Ginger Snap, as well as, I'm certain, some others as well. But the story is generally always about gangs. Obviously, Superman, Lois Lane getting in trouble. Clark Kent being dismissed by Lois all the way through. There's, but, of course, Superman... Not as strong as he is now. Of course, he's a lot stronger now. Back then, he could just he could lift a train or something, which is pretty reasonable. But he was, you know, he could punch a guy. He had to obviously be careful, otherwise, probably the head would have been knocked flying off if he really. But it was like basically people with with guns that were obviously threatening him. He would just jump up. He don't think there was particularly a great ability to fly at that point, but he would jump up and he would sort of hang the villain off the edge of a building or something like that. Or even, in some cases, poor guy dropped, which is a bit rough. But however, that's uh, that's the way they work back then. You've got also Ultra as well. You've got, I love this bit with, you've got spinning, it's just going to cut him in half, poor old Superman. The unconscious Superman, of course. Great stuff. And that was the sort of stuff you had things like obviously battling sharks. There was a lot of showing Superman doing various things that were pretty incredible. And he would obviously get involved in various fights with people, obviously completely unequal to the We didn't Lex Luthor, well, there was this ultra character, this, this character in the uh, yeah, he was sort of the advanced sort of super brain, very similar sort of thing to Lex, frankly. However, some odd stories you got like a Superman and an orphan orphanage, the Superman, the man of tomorrow. And just I think it's lovely. And you've just got these this obviously in the Superman winter issue. You've got Superman the America's greatest adventure strip character. Adventure strip character. It's weird the way they say it. Now the artwork is generally pretty good. There's some pages that I think is slightly rough, just looking at this one. The quality of the artwork hasn't come across. I'm certainly looked brilliant at the time, but obviously sometimes the, the way that the art is done, sometimes it means it doesn't translate as well into this sort of modern style. However, there's bits of this I really love, and I'm just gonna probably can't find them now, of course. But I've but it's just like they've got things showing you how to exercise, how to become like Superman himself. Obviously not really like Superman, but sort of showing uh, sort of exercise what to eat how to uh, sort of make certain you follow what your parents suggest in terms of food and also just exercising regularly, those sorts of things. 
But they had those sort of features, and I think it's just lovely. Just great little stories, again, of their time. But they still hold value, and I think they're just fascinating. Obviously, if you tried to buy these all separately as actual comics, it would be insanely expensive. So these books are just great because they actually include them. But if you like just modern comics, you're probably going to really look at this and think... But it's still, it's the origin point. And also, oh, yeah, I found it. This, I love this sort of stuff. This is Meet the Creators. They don't do that now. Don't, don't know why they never put at the back Meet the Creators. It would be a nice little sort of you know, interview or something with the artist or the, the writer. Well, that would be nice. But, uh, and also tech stories. Just love that, tech stories. Now, I mean, I think sometimes most people probably never read this. Maybe they did. I don't know. I mean, actually, they're not actually too bad. Sometimes you actually read it. It's um, perfectly okay. Oh, so that's the Golden Age Superman Volume 1. I think there's been quite a few volumes that have come out. Of course, there's a similar series of Batmans. Of course, there also is the Omnibus Editions, which basically include twice the amount of this book. So uh, if you're into Omnibus, which I love Omnibuses, but I uh, don't want every book in Omnibus. So these sort of trade packs, Paperbacks are pretty good alternative. So, excellent stuff. 